So for today, we're going to be looking at week five for the seasonal challenges. If you guys don't know if this is your first video, we usually look at the seasonal challenges for the week and Eververse. So that way, if you are away from your screen, then you guys can at least uh, watch this video and prepare mentally. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So more than a weapon five, complete week five of more than a weapon, defeat hive and take any combatants anywhere in the system. Not too hard. Uh, more than a weapon five is usually just like either a seasonal activity or they probably give us another mission, which is usually very, very much appreciated. And then the combatants that hive and taken is in so many planets that you can just go there and just kill 250. Heist Battlegrounds, uh, in the Heist Battlegrounds playlist, complete heist and defeat champions. As you can see, I've done a lot of heist. I've actually enjoyed heist this season. It's super cool. And the champions one is the only annoying part for this. Umbral focusing, focus season of the Seraph weapon or armor engrams at the exo frame in the helm. Engr engrams focus five. This is annoying considering I'm getting red bars very slowly, but I mean, tough titties. What am I going to do about it? Quick heist, complete a heist battleground in under 12 minutes. This one I got just casually playing it. I have played more than 25 heist battlegrounds, so I don't know what to tell you. This one, you just have to be fast. Uh, acquire Vex or Velis X, which is the new seasonal rifle. Uh, not hard to get. I mean, I literally just got this not too long ago. So uh, whichever playlist you enjoy, Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard, just get it through those. Iron shapes, iron, complete iron man, iron banner matches, earn bonus progress for wins. I am literally gonna do this right after this video is done because, well, I'm gonna do week five first, so I can have that video up as well. But after after that and the week is done, I'm, I'm gonna be doing this because I, this is all I'm gonna be doing for the foreseeable future because I want the armor really badly. Fell and fallen, defeat fallen and hive bosses and strikes or vanguard playlist. This is the one I usually hate to do because I don't usually play vanguard playlists, so. We're pretty much done with all this. I'll, I'll explain to you how I do my my uh, bounties because it's a little weird. So uh, bounties, when I go to Vanguard, I usually just go to the Nightfall and whichever the Nightfall is like Europa, Europa has fallen and Vex. So this would be a good Fallen in Vex place. I would most likely go in here. And since uh, the Glassway, it opens in a open area as in like it literally opens up. Um, it opens up like right here. So which means I can go throughout the whole map and just do whatever I want, which is usually what I do. And I would just complete the bounties like that, which is why uh, that one's not too bad. But as for Eververse, um, okay. She is selling, ew, it has watermelon on it. Uh, Empirical Imperative, which is a new shader. My only, con like not concern, my gripe is the fact that this color right here is just not anywhere in here. Like I, these colors look so cool. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, so we're lying out here. We're lying in these streets. Okay, cool. Cause this gray color is not enticing at all. If it was like this blue color, I would have been like, yo, this, this, this look good. Unfortunately, I mean, still pick it up cause you might never know. Uh, I'm not going to say that name. It's a stupid looking shell. Spill the tea, which is. Oh my god. Uh, for the stuff at the bottom, we have thumbs down projection. We have felsic pyroclasm for the Prometheus lens. This looks cool. This looks, it definitely looks fucking cool. We have gilded memento for the hunters. We have some other ones for the tiny man warlock, which I'll show up right here. Uh, simulation shell, which I, I already have. Okay. War torn peregrine. We have keeping score and then bad scene, which is Cool, I guess. For these shaders, we have Raven Silk. This is a cool shader. I actually do like this shader. It gives armor a very like almost like a worn out, like very, very fucked up look. You guys can see a little bit of here. It's super cool. I definitely do suggest picking up this shader. We have Atlantic Rush, which is not my favorite shader. I don't like the shader at all. We have Reef Made, which I'm not a fan of this purple, to be quite honest. It's mostly the pink. I think this throws it off a lot and the, and the purple could be better. And then uh, Metropolitan Acoustics, if you want to go for a Buzz Lightyear look for your Titan, this is the shader you want. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is going to be a short video because obviously that's pretty much all we, we went through. I do. I feel like I'm going to regret not getting 
all of the things I wanted from the Christmas event, but at the same time, I made a lot of cookies, so I guess it's fine. Next week, I think, is the first week that we get uh, some of the armor. I think it's the arms, if I remember correctly. So the armor is going to be being sold next week. I will be picking up the Omnioculus mask because it does take off the hood and it actually looks super cool. So I might actually be picking up this uh, helmet soon. And yeah, we're going to be doing Iron Banner, like I said. We're going to be doing a lot of Iron Banner because I want to pick up the the armor so that way we can review it and then i'll do some example sets as well like you usually did if you guys don't know i've made that for the seasonal armor the uh what's it called the hardened basilisk set i'll have all of them right here and the review for the armor as well if you guys want to check that out but yeah let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later